I will just leave the floor to uh, Yelena and uh, move us all, travel from the southernmost tip of Africa to the northernmost part of uh, Norway. Yelena, the floor is yours. Thank you very much, Lena. Uh, I am a museum director for the Sami Museum in Karashuk, in one uh, Sami uh, village uh, situated in the northernmost part of Norway. And uh, in order to situate uh, our place and myself, so I can share a uh, map of uh, the Sami languages so that uh, you can uh, see the um, you can see what uh, where we are. You can see the uh, map of Sapmi, how uh, we call our Sami uh, land uh, in our own language. And there are 10 language varieties uh, of uh, Sami languages. And we are in the middle, we are the northern uh, uh, language, Sami language or no dialect some linguists can uh, say. And here you can see the village of Karasjokko, or Karasjokko where our museum is situated. So by the end of my presentation, uh, I will uh, say about the exhibition on repatriation uh, of the Sami drums, but the whole presentation is about an old Sami drum, which we just recently, just uh, one month ago, uh, our museum got repatriated from Denmark. And uh, uh, just to finish a presentation of myself, I am an associated researcher and scholar at the University of Helsinki, uh, a program of indigenous studies. Um, so the drums, if we think uh, how many uh, old Sami drum, drums which have been preserved until now, it's a number of 72 altogether. There are many Sami drums from the period from uh, the 16th and 17th centuries. Some uh, um, more recent drums are from the 18th century. And um, uh, just four of these drums are in the possession of the Sami institutions. Other Sami drums are uh, everywhere, uh, somewhere in Europe. And I can mention just uh, Sweden, uh, uh, Denmark, Germany, uh, France, Italy, Great Britain, where our uh, precious sacred Sami drums are situated, possessed and have been there for many hundred years until now. And only one drum at our museum, we have managed to repatriate from abroad. So uh, it is a drum which belonged to an uh, old man whose name was Anders Paulsen uh, in uh, Norwegian Danish, but his Sami name was Paul Ande. He lived in the 17th century. He was born uh, in the year uh, 1600 about. And he was uh, arrested and accused uh, uh, um, because of, he was uh, accused in just, because he used his drum and it was black magic. It was witchcraft and he was sentenced to death and happened in 1692. It is a very tragic story. He was an old man at that time, about 90 years, what he said uh, at the trial. We have the, the court minutes uh, of this trial uh, preserved. He said that he was about 100 years old at that time. And he explained to the court uh, during the interrogations uh, that he did not uh, do any harm to anyone. He used his drum in order to help people, in order to predict uh, the future, in order to find uh, the lost items, in order to see whether the uh, power of nature will be uh, uh, pleased with the people or uh, will be harmful when the reindeer herd shall uh, move uh, to the coastal line uh, during the spring or to the inland uh, uh, by the autumn. He could help women in childbirth uh, and relieve their pain with the help of the, his drum. And he said that he used his drum uh, just to the good things, but the court didn't believe him. 
and uh, the uh, Christian missionary policy of uh, Denmark, Norway at that time, by the end of the 17th century, was very, very, uh, it, uh, one can say, uh, hostile against the Sami who practiced their indigenous religion at that time. So many uh, Sami drums were expropriated forcefully or burned or taken, or uh, uh, the owners of the drums were uh, pressed or uh, pushed or uh, by um, different kinds of prosecutions, they were obliged to surrender their drums to the authorities. And then Paul Ander, by the end of the trial, despite of his explanations, he was sentenced to death. Tragically enough, uh, uh, the old man stayed in prison waiting for the confirmation of the uh, death sentence, which was sent to Copenhagen to be approved by the high authorities. And you can imagine it happened, uh, uh, the trial was uh, in the northernmost part of uh, Norway, uh, where Vatsa is uh, nowadays. And then, uh, while waiting for the confirmation. Uh, unfortunately, it happened that the old man was killed in prison. And uh, uh, his children, he had many children, had, they insisted on, uh, on the prosecution against the person who murdered uh, their father, but uh, it was uh, said that the person was insane, so he could not, he could not be punished. But anyway, what happened afterwards, the drum was sent to the uh, Danish king in 1692. And since then, that time, the drum was in Denmark in the Royal Collection of Curiosities, uh, Curiositetskabinet. And after a while, when the National Museum of Denmark was um, established, so the drum together with uh, the whole Royal Collection, uh, was uh, um, transferred to the collections of the National Museum. I can sh uh, show you the surface of the drum, um, which is special and what is, uh, can be sh uh, said about the Sami drums that they have symbols on the surface of the drum, on the drum's key. And uh, in this surface, you can see that uh, many of the symbols are faded away uh, because they are about 400 years old. And you can see the hammer uh, made of reindeer uh, horn and a, a ring, which was a pointer uh, that uh, the person who used the drum put the pointer on the surface of the drum and uh, carefully started beating the drum with a small hammer. And the movement of the pointer uh, were interpreted uh, just according to the knowledge, the expert of the use of the drum, the name uh, of this expert in uh, um, our language is Noaidi. We don't use the, the word shaman, which belongs to a completely different context. So Noaidi uh, could interpret uh, the movements and uh, what uh, Paulandi told uh, during the interrogations that if the pointer was moving towards the upper part of the drum to the symbols in the upper part of the drum, it was a good omen. And if the pointer was moving to the uh, down to the surface of the drum, it was an omen of bad luck. And the, we have uh, we know um, a bit about the meaning of the symbols of the drum, and I can show a better picture of, of the drum so that uh, you can see the mm, the symbols. So this is a copy, this is a replica, which we have shown at our museum uh, alongside with the original, because the original is so fragile, so we could not uh, display uh, the original drum all the time. And most of the time, the uh, replica has been shown. 
but now when we have got the uh, our drum in our possession, so we will make other arrangements for, for the original drum. But here you can see that this drum is very special. Uh, four uh, horizontal uh, lines uh, divide the surface of the drum into five segments. And in each segment, there are several uh, symbols which were interpreted for the chord by the owner, uh, like a uh, wild radiator. Uh, and I, I just uh, want to say that we uh, have in the Sami culture, it is a huge difference between a wild reindeer and a domesticated reindeer, because a wild reindeer means uh, the hunting and the domesticating reindeer, domesticated reindeer uh, is uh, a part of the reindeer herd and reindeer herding. So uh, many of the symbols the owner explained, like Christian symbols, like the church, uh, like uh, uh, Jesus and the uh, good spirits. And uh, after, after a while, so uh, the owner explained the symbols of the moon and the sun and the good spirits which belong to nature. Uh, and uh, uh, the owner explained that he did not do anything wrong because he had his own beliefs and he did believe in, in God. So he was a child of two religions, his indigenous religion and the Christian one. But he did not help the old man, uh, unfortunately, at the time. And what we know about the interpretations of the symbols, uh, we don't have so much first-hand information about it, but these court minutes uh, from the court on Anders Paulsen uh, represent one uh, valuable source where we can read uh, the explanations given by the owner, by the original owner of this drum. And what happened after, uh, after that? Uh, so uh, the drum was in uh, uh, Copenhagen for many hundred years. And our museum, our Sami museum was uh, established in 1972 as the first Sami cultural institution ever established on the Norwegian side of Sápmi, run by the Sami themselves. And uh, our museum leaders, they wanted to show something which was, which belonged to our indigenous religion, which was forcefully taken away from our ancestors. And then uh, uh, our museum contacted Copenhagen and asked for, uh, for this drum. And in 1979, the museum got uh, uh, the uh, drum of uh, Paul and uh, Anders Paulsen on the long term lawn. And since then, uh, this drum has been displayed and was in uh, Karashok in our, in, in our museum. Uh, but it did not feel right, like having our precious piece of our cultural heritage on loan from an institution abroad, which uh, according to uh, law was the rightful possess uh, possessor of, of the drum. But uh, in our Sami traditional understanding, we, the Sami were the rightful owners of this uh, sacred object which belonged to, to us. And uh, in, uh, 2006, uh, our museum then being part of a bigger museum association, uh, uh, consisted of four uh, Sami museums in the county of Western Finnmark, where we are situated. We sent a repatriation request to the National Museum of Denmark, but our request was denied at that time. So our museum is very small. We don't have all uh, uh, resources which we could need in order to fight or in order to develop our exhibitions. So it took some time before we in 2020 uh, sent a report to the United Nations expert mechanism on the rights of indigenous peoples and the Human Rights uh, Council in Geneva, uh, together with uh, many other Sami uh, museums uh, in Norway, 
and it was a report on repatriation of sacred objects and human remains. Uh, so repatriation of human remains is not the topic today, but so we just focus on the sacred drums. So uh, a year after 2021, our museum submitted a re again a repatriation request to uh, the National Museum, and it took a year. And now, on January 24, this year, the Minister of Culture of Denmark approved repatriation or approved uh, uh, the transfer of the ownership rights to our museum, the Sami Museum in Karasjokan. We are very happy about that. The whole community and whole SAPMI is very happy about that. And we are making an exhibition. We are uh, going to open an exhibition about repatriation of the Sami drums, which is called Rektot in our own language, which means coming home, uh, the return of the Sami drums. And this exhibition will be opened in April and will be on display uh, to the end of this year. So everyone who wants to visit Northern Norway and SAPMI, welcome. Uh, and just check, uh, check our website, you will find all the opening hours, especially during the summer. Um, just recently I published an article about this process uh, in Quebec in French and in English then uh, by the Sami Research Society, Sami Tuskansi at the University of Helsinki. So if you wish to find uh, some more information about this process, about the drama, about the uh, about Sami cultural heritage and um, the indigenous religion, so uh, you can check and find me on the uh, website of uh, University of Helsinki among the researchers you will see my profile and publications.